Zade is a phenomenal player, one of the best of all time. His footprint will be left on this game forever. And not only did he absolutely dominate tournaments, but he set up an ecosystem within NA East to develop players and allow them a system to thrive and practice within. Welcome to another Fortnite Legends series. This one goes out to you, Zate. I believe Zate and Sap just had the comeback victory of the century in this on the final tick of HP. Summer Skirmish put Zate on the map back in July of 2018. Him and Saf, his partner in crime through it all, won the third week of Summer Skirmish and picked themselves up a nice bag, but more importantly, proved that Zayt was here to stay. He was a real competitive player and going to dominate for years to come. That was unbelievable. Zayt competed and succeeded in several other tournaments that year, including the rest of the Summer Skirmish a dream hack out in Montreal, and then he even got invited to the secret skirmish as well as the fall skirmish. But the big win for Zayt comes in Katowice. Zayt and Saf, his partner in crime, got off to a huge lead in Katowice and wound up going and taking the L out in the open, and I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Zayt is in the open, taking the L. Zayt knew he had already won the tournament, so he had to go out and assert his dominance on the rest of the lobby, and much like the rest of his career, he continued to do that. Earlier in Katowice, Zayt made one of the most phenomenal plays to rift his opponents, put them in storm, and allow Saf to outheal them. This, at the time, was one of the smartest plays ever seen in Fortnite history, and Zayt had already thought of this. He prepared for this, and was ready to come at you with a rift play if it went to heal off. The one we got 11 kill where I uh, used my rift to go, uh, that was awesome, and after that we just that did the math and, uh, yeah, we, I did the math and I knew I was, we, we won basically. And when they did, at the end of the tournament, the two held up the trophies and it elated as they had just won one of the first major Fortnite tournaments in history. This set the tone for Zayt and Saf to become one of the best duos of all time, if not the best, and they continued their run for many years to come. The next tournament came World Cup. Zayt double qualified meaning he was a solo, but also a duo with his partner in crime, Saf. Zayt went on to place middling in solos, but it was the duos that captured everyone's attention. In typical Zayt fashion, him and Saf went on to win the first match and take the lead in World Cup, one of the biggest stages we have ever seen in Fortnite and in all of esports, not just Fortnite. These two were ready to play and showed up for World Cup. They had an impressive run in World Cup, holding the lead for the first four matches and even had a one point lead going into the final match. Unfortunately for those two, they stumbled and fell within the last two games, which allowed Aqua and Nyrox to take the lead. And not only did Zayt and Saf fall, but they fell down to fourth. Still, quite the impressive feat for this duo. It was at this time where people really started to turn their heads and wonder, okay, are these the best we've ever seen? Are Zayt and Saf truly the best duo in the world? After World Cup came trios, then squads. Zayt placed fourth in both of them. And for him, that was honestly unimpressive. People expected better. Fourth was too low for a player of his caliber. Next up came duos, and Zayt and Saf once again were able to prove that they were the best duo in the world. Put themselves on any region, any place, I'm taking these two, as they won the FNCS duo grand finals pretty impressively and with several wins including one in the final match to secure it. The Legend of Zayt grew when he played solos, the grand finals of solos, with two e-girls in his call, testing out a theory that the boosted testosterone would help him play better. I don't know whether or not it actually helped him play better. Nonetheless, he was able to win a match and was surely hype.
The game mode moved to trios. Zayt and Staff stuck together, and they added Stretch, another qualified player. An amazing player in his own. These three went on to play impressively well. Not able to put it together and win a Grand Finals tournament, but 8th and fourth in their two trios grand finals together, including one of the best wins of all time, watching them win a reboot round to qualify. Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! After trios, Zayt decided it was his time. He wasn't enjoying the game anymore. His competitive drive wasn't the same. He wanted to win, but he just truly wasn't enjoying the game and wanted to walk away at least for a little bit. And he did come back for a couple of weeks to give it a shot. But that didn't last very long. Since then, he's remained retired on the sidelines and one of the most respectable players. And now, who knows what's next for Zayt. Before you guys freak out, I'm not leaving NRG. I'm staying the Fortnite team. Uh, I'm going to keep hosting pr Elite, Prec Cord, all that stuff. Like, I'm going to be there every day. I'm going to host every day. I'm going to postcode every day. I'm going to kick players that need to be kicked and all that stuff. But uh, what I'm going to be doing feels really weird to say, especially coming from someone like me, uh, is I'm going to be uh, I'm going to stop competing in Fortnite. So I'm going to stop playing tournaments. I'm going to stop playing scrims. Clearly, that decision wasn't easy for Zayt. It was respectable. He didn't have much left to prove within the game of Fortnite. He kind of won everything and was at the best since the beginning. He was hard to beat regardless of what tournament, what style was going on. And not to forget, Zayt also hosted and ran Prac for pros for the entirety that he was in the scene. Regardless of what you think of him as a player, one of the best, he also deserves respect for hosting and allowing players to practice consistently at a high level. That deserves respect. No, 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 that garners respect and he took it, but now it's time for him to walk away. Clearly, He's enjoying doing other things. Maybe one day we will see a return of Zayt, a duo tournament that brings him back together with Saf. For now, it's only questions. Hopefully one day we will see the return, but forever he will remain a legend.